I am connected to Metal Gear Server as Oracle user. In this session, we will take a look at how to unplug and plug pluggable databases in Oracle 12C. I will create a temporary folder and change the permissions of the folder. I will log in to Oracle instance on this server using SQL plus a SysDBA. I will query the dollar instance view to check the host name, instance name, version and instance status. I have a saved SQL script called pdbs.sql. This contains a simple join on dba underscore pdbs and v dollar pdbs. You can see here, I have pluggable database, PDB sales. In this session, we will take a look at how to unplug this PDB and plug it back into a container. First, we need to collect some information about PDB sales database. I will query v$ data file and v$ temp file for PDB sales database and save the output into a file. Let us look at the syntax diagrams for create pluggable database. In this session, we will take a look at how to unplug a PDB and plug it back into a container. Now, let us look at the syntax for unplug database. Alter pluggable database PDB name. Unplug into file name. This command will create an XML file containing all the details about pluggable database. This command will unplug the database from current container. So PDB status will change to unplugged. Drop pluggable database is the only operation allowed on an unplugged PDB. Now, let us look at the syntax for plug database. Create pluggable database PDB name. As clone clause has to be used if the target container already contains a PDB that was created using the same set of data files. With this clause, Oracle generates new DB identifier and GUID for the new PDB. Using XML file name which was created earlier using unplug command. Source file name convert clause can be used if the file locations inside XML file do not accurately describe the locations of the source database files. We can manually edit the XML file to avoid using this clause. Copy clause can be used if we want the source database files to be copied to the new location for the new PDB. This is the default option.
Move clause can be used if we want the source database files to be moved to the new location for the new PDB. We cannot use copy or move clause along with as clone clause. No copy clause can be used if we want the source database files for the PDB to remain in their current location. In other words, use this clause if there is no need to copy or move the source database files required to plug in the PDB. File name convert clause can be used to instruct on how the file names are generated for the PDB. PDB storage clause can be used to define storage limits for the PDB. Max size is the upper limit for the combined total size of all table spaces in the PDB. Max shared temp size is the upper limit of storage in temporary table space for all active sessions connected to the PDB. Path prefix clause can be used to ensure that file paths for directory objects and parameters associated with the PDB are restricted to the specified directory or its subdirectories. Temp file reuse clause can be used to instruct the database to format and reuse a temp file associated with the new PDB if it already exists. On this server, I already have a pluggable database, PDB Sales. It is already open in read-write mode. Now, I will try to unplug PDB Sales database. We got an error because source PDB is open. Source PDB should be closed before unplugging it. Now I will close PDB sales database. PDB Sales Database is now closed, so we can unplug it from the current root container. As you can see here, PDB Sales Database status has changed to Unplugged. Now, we cannot open or close this PDB. Drop Pluggable Database is the only operation allowed on this PDB. I will exit from SQL Plus. PDB Sales .xml was created by unplug command. If we check the contents of this XML file, we can see that this file contains all the details about PDB sales, including table space names, data file names, along with full path.
It also contains database, optional component names, and versions. Apex version. It also contains database parameters like processes, memory target, DB block size, and open cursors, etc. PDB sales files, .txt file, contains, the data file, and temp file, locations, for the PDB sales. I will edit this file, to create copy commands. I will use these commands, to copy source database files, to a temporary folder. Now, I will connect to, same server as, grid user. I will set up, Oracle environment variables, for ASM instance. I will start, ASM CMD, utility. Now, I will copy, the source PDB database files, to temporary folder. I will switch back to Oracle user. I will verify the temporary location for newly copied files. I will log in to Oracle instance on this server using SQL plus assist EBA.
Notice that I have PDB sales database in unplugged state. Now, I will try to plug back PDB sales database into the same container with new name PDB sales development. I will use no copy clause because I already have source database files in proper folder locations. I got an error because of existing PDB has same GUID as the new one. We can resolve this issue by using as clone clause. With this clause, Oracle will generate new DB identifier and GUID for the new PDB. It also copies the source files to new location for the new PDB. I will query v$ data file and v$ temp file for PDB sales and newly plugged PDB sales development databases. Both PDB database files are stored in ASM storage using Oracle Managed Files option. First, I have unplugged PDB sales database and then plugged it back using as clone option into the same root container. Here, I plugged it with new PDB name. What if I want to plug using same original PDB name? To do that, first, I have to drop the unplugged PDB from this root container. I will use keep data files option to leave the data files untouched by drop pluggable database command. Now I will plug PDB sales database. I will use no copy clause because source database files are already in proper folder locations. Now, I will drop PDB sales database using keep data files option. I have unplugged XML file from earlier and latest data files for PDB sales. Now, I will try to plug PDB sales database.
I will use no copy clause because source database files are already in proper folder locations. I got an error because there is a mismatch between XML file and the data files. Remember that I unplugged PDB, then plugged it back, then dropped the PDB and tried to plug it back. Data file headers got updated and XML file has old AFN absolute file numbers. So far we have completed following scenarios. 1. We unplugged a PDB from root container. 2. We plugged it back into the same root container using new name for the PDB. 3. We plugged it back into the same root container with same name as original PDB. 4. We simulated an error situation with mismatch between XML file and data file headers. Now, I will connect to another server. I am connected to Crete server as Oracle user. I will create temporary folders and change the permissions for the folders. I will secure copy all the source files from Metal Gear server to this server. I will move all the data files into the data file folder. I will move temp file into the temp file folder. I will make a backup copy of original XML file. Data file locations inside XML are pointing to the original ASM storage locations. I will manually edit this XML and point the file locations to the new temporary location.
I will create folders in the file system for the new pluggable database. I will log into Oracle instance on this server using SQL plus assist EBA. I will query v$ database view to check the database name and CDB column. I will query v$ instance view to check the host name, instance name, version and instance status. CDB column tells us that this is a container database. Notice that I have an Oracle 12C release 1 instance here. I have a saved SQL script called pdbs.sql. I have not yet created any pluggable databases on this container. Now, I will plug PDB Sales Database as PDB Sales Development Database. Using XML file. I will specify source file name convert equal to none. Because I have manually edited the XML file to specify data file locations. I will use copy clause with file name convert option. Source location is temporary file location. Target location is our file system location for the new PDB. Path prefix is same as our target location for the new PDB. We have plugged the PDB by making a copy of source files to a file system location. I will query v$ data file and v$ temp file for newly plugged PDB sales development database. Now, I will plug PDB Sales Database as 
PTB Sales Test Database. Using XML file. I will specify source file name convert equal to none because I have manually edited the XML file to specify data file locations. I will use move clause with file name convert option. Source location is temporary file location. Target location is RASM data disk group. Path prefix is also RASM data disk group. I got an error because of existing PDB has same GUID as the new one. I will edit the command and add as clone clause. I will run this command again along with as clone clause. We have plugged the PDB by moving the source files to ASM storage. I will query v$ data file and v$ temp file for newly plugged PDB sales test database. I will exit from SQL plus. I will check the files in the temporary location. Notice that data files got moved. Notice that temp file is not moved because plug database command creates a new temp file. Now we have completed following scenarios. 1. We unplugged a PDB from root container on Metal Gear server. 2. We copied the source files from Metal Gear server to Crete server. 3. We plugged the PDB into root container on Crete server using file system as storage. 4. We plugged the PDB into root container on Crete server using ASM storage.